Good morning and welcome back. The time right now is 747. And if you want a beautiful lawn in the spring, now is actually the time not to be uh, slack in here. We've got <laughs> horticulturist Patrick Dickinson and water conservation expert Denise Hickey. You're here to remind us what we need to do to keep our lawns in good shape. Where do we start? Well, you know, that's what people, when we talk this time of year and we're getting these frigid temperatures, they're yeah. like, what can we possibly be doing outside? Because you just don't, you don't want them to die. Well, and, and it's actually a good time to be planting a lot of your trees and your shrubs and even perennials because what happens is when we have trees that are dormant, mm -hmm. uh, that are during the winter time when you plant them during that time there's less stress that's put on the plant when it comes out of dormancy and there's wow. no container uh -huh. you get faster establishment which means a, a better show for you that year I mean we are expecting these chilly temperatures here. Is there a way to preserve, you know, some plants that are outside? There are. Um, we, there's several products that you can get online okay. or at your local nursery. Like and this is, here. it is, it's a, a pl blanket for your plants. Oh, wow. It's called freeze cloth or freeze cover and it, it, it's breathable. So it will protect your plants from the freezing precipitation. And that it doesn't really do much for the cold temperatures. Mm -hmm. um, and you wanna make sure it's breathable. Um, if you put just solid plastic down, then that moisture is going to damage your plant. So, so do make you, do sure you just it's like breathable. Put this over your plants right, that you are like. Put it over your plants oh. and cover them up. And mm -hmm. for the entire winter or? For the cold spells, yes. And then you take it oh. off so the plants can get sun again. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I know you were talking about perennials, evergreens. Uh -huh. What's the difference? Well, and that's a, a lot of confusion. People don't always understand that. Evergreen means it's going to hold its leaves all winter long. Wow. Deciduous means it's going to lose its leaves during the winter, like a lot of times so we you see said trees. It's, dormant, it's alive, but it's going to come back. Yes, and even evergreens are somewhat dormant. So that dormancy we see throughout the winter, even though they hold their leaves. And so that's one of the things that we like to show people is a good balance. So mm -hmm. we brought with us some combinations today. Okay. And they're some of my favorites and some that I use in my design workshops where we teach people the difference between evergreen and deciduous. But I also like to introduce a lot of texture and color combinations that are real dramatic. That's your thing. Yeah. How so, do you do that? So this is a shade example. Okay. okay. So we have a Japanese maple, which is very popular. It's a beautiful Those tree. Super popular. Yeah. They this, are beautiful. This is called Milky Way cast iron plant. Mm. So it has a, a lush, broader leaf. And then this is a Chinese Chinese fringe flower that's very shade tolerant. Mm -hmm. And then to your right, I have some of uh, the new like chartreuse colors. So you have sunshine ligustrum, a lot of variegated abelias out there. And just to show people how a lot of plants have a good versatility, I could very easily pick up the Chinese fringe flower, move it over here, and you can see that contrasting combination. Combo. And that is also a shade tolerant plant. So it gives you a good transition and shows you the versatility across the landscape. Let's talk more about protection because I feel like there's some people out there, you know, when it starts to get cold, they just let their landscaping kind of go and leave it alone. How do we protect? How do we preserve? Well, the best thing to do is to first select Texas native or adaptive plants. Okay. You've got lots of color here. Mm -hmm. These are very hardy plants um, that use less water. Um, you know, they don't take a lot of tender loving care. When we have to really tend to our plants a lot, when we open over water or over mm -hmm. fertilize or use chemicals mm -hmm. on them. Um, so the best thing to do is pick uh, native and adaptive plants. And then when the temperature starts to dip, make sure that you have some of this freeze cloth or freeze cover on hand that you can cover up your plants. It's you know like a blanket, keeping them warm but you want them to be able to breathe with the breathable fabric. It makes sense. I know you're our expert when it comes to water. Is water conservation, you know, a topic when it comes to frigid weather? It is. Okay. Uh, you need to make sure that you check your pipes. You've got them insulated. Mm -hmm. um, know where your shutoff valve is so that if you do happen to have a pipe break, you can turn your water off to your house water right away. Um, you need to, you know, insulate all your pipes within your house and uh, even if there's a really dip in the weather you can let it drip a little because it helps keep the pipes from freezing perfect thank you guys for all thank this you. awesome thank information you. we're going to make sure we get it on our website i love the display here i love the color <laughs> thank you so much all right moving on here a deer made a surprising appearance at an urgent care in fort worth i can't make this stuff up bradley blackburn spoke to the folks there with an unexpected encounter we'll be right back stick with us